It is Jesus you seek when you desire happiness. This is the beginning of a quote from St. John Paul II, whom we celebrate today. A saint who died only in 2005, so we know many of us remember him living in his papacy during our own lifetimes. He was a great man and a great pope, and he did a lot of great things during his lifetime. And I think that that quote from him about happiness is really appropriate today for the gospel we hear in Jesus. Him speaking to the crowds and, and rebuking them for their ability to interpret the signs of the weather, but not to interpret the signs of the kingdom. Saying things like, you see a cloud in the sky and so you know that it's going to rain and so it does. So they prepare and act as though it's going to rain. Or they, they feel a wind from the south so they know it's going to be hot. And so they prepare for that as well. Yet they don't prepare for the signs of the kingdom that are present among them. That they either don't see them or choose not to see them. But as good God-fearing Jews, they would know their scriptures. They should be able to interpret the signs that Jesus is fulfilling now in his ministry. His healings, his miracles, these are the signs of the kingdom that have been foretold. And they don't act in accord with that. St. John Paul II, for his part, did act with this kingdom mindset. He worked extensively for peace in the world. He did relations with nations who were going to go to war with each other and helped prevent that war from happening. He did this in many places. He also established World Youth Day, seeing the, the need that to, to put the youth at the forefront of the church, helping them to see their importance in our faith journey. He wrote extensively with many apostolic exhortations, many encyclicals, letters on topics such as human morality and sexuality, human desire, mercy, redemption, all of these things that we needed answers to questions in. And he also visited over 129 countries, far outdoing any pope before him in the amount of visits he made. He saw the urgent need to act because he lived in a world where there was a lot of war, a lot of moral corrup corruption. And today is no different. It might be even worse today where we live in a world that still is so in need of Jesus and the signs of the kingdom are still very present among us even more so. And so we pray today that we might have that same confidence to act in accordance with those signs like St. John Paul II, to not put them off or to ignore those signs. Because as John Paul II once said, the future begins today, not tomorrow.